When Charles Darwin landed on the Galapagos Islands in 1835, they were barely inhabited. But today, things are very different. Over the last quarter century, the permanent population has grown rapidly, from 5,000 in 1980 to over 25,000 today. This has caused problems for the National Park Service, who want to preserve the unique character of the islands. The increasing population size is a problem. For example, here in Santa Cruz, in Puerto Llora, where we are now, there's no more space. The last areas were given away already to immigrants during the last four or five months, so people is living already at the borderline of the park. In addition to the local population, over 150,000 tourists visit the Galapagos every year, and the numbers keep on growing. Tourism on the Galapagos is tightly controlled by the park service. Some islands are totally closed off. Wardens supervise visitors at all times within the park zone. But there's such interest in these islands that the tourists keep on coming. I think Galapagos should be important as a tourist area because one of the major purposes of protection in Galapagos is for conservation and for education. And it's very difficult for people to understand the problems that occur in Galapagos or in a, in a protected area such as this if they can't actually come here and see it with their own eyes. The problem from tourism isn't so much the tourist interaction with the organisms. What is more of a concern is all the people that tourism as an ancillary activity bring to the islands. And that is of concern because the islands cannot support large numbers of people. So far, the Park Service and its supporters have managed to keep the big hotel chains and the huge cruise ships at bay. But the competing pressures of maintaining the island's unique heritage and simultaneously allowing the local population to develop economically will always require delicate handling. Life on the Galapagos can be difficult, but nevertheless, scientists and conservationists regard it as a privilege to work there. There are plenty of problems and plenty of difficult situations and plenty of frustrations, but there are also plenty of rewards and success and, and things you can say, well, I had to do this. I mean, I am getting, I am getting um, uh, an ulcer and things like that. I'm getting sick sometimes because of the problems. But, well, that's part of the job. I mean, I prefer to be here instead of sitting at a desk at the, at the main office in Quito. Number one here is conservation. Number one here is this continuing to be not a museum, and not a herbarium. It's a living laboratory of evolution. In the decades since Darwin's visit, the fame of the Galapagos has spread around the world. Much more is known about its natural history, but there's still much more work to be done. Darwin's comment still holds true. It really is a remarkable and curious place. Mm -hmm.